So Adam Gilchrist has to start again with a, another partner, but also a right-hander. This time it's through. Alahi couldn't quite get down to that one, but he's timing the ball beautifully, is Adam Gilchrist. It's a stroke nicely. Good free flow of the arms. Went uh, under the arms of uh, Salim Alahi. Should have been quite hard there. Uh, not really getting down in time. Adam Gilchrist is uh, looking in peak touch here. That's through. Just a frustration, the one slip. The pain of it all. It's not a bowler's game, young man. This is an excellent delivery. Going across the left-hander. And Arshad Khan had no chance of stopping that one. Just offered to move a little away from the left-hander. Went through that vacant slip cordon. Went quite fast as well. So Amir Sahail comes into this second slip position. But after the horse has bolted, as it were. I think he bowls of well enough and bowling quickly enough to have justified the second slip, particularly after his first over anyway, Ramiz. That's right, yes. Um, he's... Uh, the bowler that has a bit of pace, a bounce, just move the ball across uh, the left-handers as well. So uh, there was a showcase of having an extra man position there. Salim Alai did a wonderful job by uh, getting Mark War out, run out. So very good throw. Exactly in the right position there, Adam Gilchrist. Both Mark Waugh when he was there and Gilchrist have been a little surprised by the speed of this young man. You just watch here, the quite there was on him quicker than he anticipated. He's middling the ball quite beautifully, Gilchrist. Even though he uh, didn't play a shot at that one was technically not in the best of the positions but it uh, went quite smoothly to the fielder middled it nicely and it's good to see a youngster really dominating the proceedings there cleverly run one of the great skills of course in the limited over game is Dropping the ball at the feet and running. Got to have a good understanding. Call was sharp from Ricky Ponting. So already starting to pick up the rhythm of the game. Ricky Ponting did play two wonderful knocks in the Peshawar Test match. Looked uh, very good. Technically very well equipped. Places that nicely. Good chase by Ijaz Ahmed. Ten off the over, it's one for 62. Shrabak has... Uh, Look pretty good. Some of the runs that have come square up the wicket of his bowling. There's the Manhattan. Just the one wicket. The Australians have gone on to, to do the job with rapid speed there.
well I wonder if there's a coconut at the top here need to be need to be careful up there young man there's been some uh, some very sad accidents around the cricketing world in recent years because of the sheer enthusiasm of uh, supporters and he's climbing up into the uh, into the gods literally probably yeah. there's a Slezinger cricket back waiting for him <laughs> he's made it he's up there on the girders beaten confident appeal for a catch at the wicket everyone goes up except umpire Riazadun well, uh, this was a feature for delivery Beautifully bowled by Vasim Akram. He's drawing Ricky Ponting in the front foot. You see the bat hitting the pad there. And by Riazuddin doing the right thing. Tuck that to easily to a Freedy. And you can imagine the sense of excitement that this young man will generate this afternoon when he opens the batting. Really a heartthrob of Pakistan cricket. Only played one test match, yet one of the most celebrated cricketers in the country. Got some impressive commercial endorsements. Impressive looking young man. And of course we'll see him, no doubt, Bowling some leg breaks. That somehow got through. Inside edge. Living on the edge. Well, this should be really frustrating for the seam Akram. Again, hitting the seam and uh, cutting the batsman in half there. Beautiful delivery. a master practitioner and the seam hasn't really gone flat out there in this one day game those are reasonable figures but uh, Pakistan looking to uh, get some wickets through him early wickets that's uh, very so very good Slow ball, beautifully bowled. It's one for 67. Held that one back, beautifully bowled. Such a canny, crafty pro. Nothing he hasn't seen, nothing he hasn't done over the years. He knows it all. Wonderful competitor. So 67 from 69 balls. We saw Shahid Afridi a moment ago doing his stretches. We're talking of the excitement that he'll generate this afternoon with his batting. But he's got the crown wound up already for his bowling. Why wouldn't he? Many of the people here saw him in his test match to Boo, taking five wickets under Boo. And what a magnificent crowd in today, too. There's some confusion earlier because there is now the Hanif Muhammad, the Javed me and dad and Majid Khan enclosures. But uh, none of the crowd who had tickets for those respective enclosures knew quite where they were because they're unmarked. So there were people going in all directions, but most of them have found their way in now. It's colourful, it's enthusiastic. And now the most exciting young cricketer in Pakistan has got the ball in his hand. Shahid Afridi in his hometown. And right onto the spot. Yeah. 
Uh, the Freddie has got an impressive one-day record. He does bowl very straight in the one-days. Doesn't spin the ball as much as uh, Mushtaq does, for example. But uh, he can be very effective. It's a phenomenal quicker ball. Got Steve Waugh with it in the test match here in Karachi. Keeping the pressure on the field at the moment, perhaps after that spectacular throw from Alahi, the sense that the fieldsmen perhaps are doing the dictating, keeping the pressure on the batsman. Psychologically, it's always a nice little duel. Who's dictating to whom? This is the boy who wants to do the dictating. Shahbakta began well with a maiden, but then conceded 10 in his second. For Freedy. What? Slower and shorter. Just worked it. It's a little difficult for a spinner to come in in the first 15 overs. He uh, doesn't have a long off or a long on as a cushion. So he has to be very precise with his line and uh, the spot he wants to ball at. Got that one away. All the way. Magnificent shot. It's one for 75. This was picked beautifully uh, by Ricky Ponting. He had to middle it which he did it, it went all the way, what a beautiful shot. Quickly picking the length and middling it nicely. That's a beautiful hit. That was a magnificent shot from Ricky Ponting. Saw it so quickly. Played it beautifully. Assessed it very quickly. Got it very sweetly indeed. So as Shah Bakhtar has switched to the contrary position end, there's been a change in that very position. And a chef boycott with David Hooks. Thank you, Mike Coward. And uh, what a start for the Australians. They haven't done anything extravagant, yet their run rate is six and a quarter per over. Show back to come back into the attack. Adam Gilchrist on strike on 44. Vicky Ponning on 10. And some good running again by the Australians. Fuse and arse in the crowd, but Gilchrist, very good, Johanna, a very good field from the mid-off. Yes, it's been one of those mornings where the run rate has kept on uh, going up for Australia because they played and missed at the very good balls, in particular ball by Wasim Akram. And then when there's been a, a few slices of luck or one or two bad balls, the Australians have managed to get some wood on it and keep the runs flowing. Frustration for Pakistan, a little bit of good fortune for Australia. So a near run out chance. Joseph Johanna doing the fielding. But he was safe. No, but just. That's yeah, far enough. 
they bowled well enough of Pakistan to have got three wickets with the ball. Some of the deliveries that Wasim Akram's bowl have been magic deliveries. <coughs> Nobody's been good enough to touch it. I think the umpires have done well. There's been a lot of playing and missing. Just like that, but it's called a wide. Well, this is a sort of good fortune I was talking about. It was a shocking delivery. Short, wide, wanted walloping, and he made some airy-fairy sort of walking shot at it. And didn't get a nick. Now, he could have hit it for four easily if it had played an orthodox shot. Pontin's performance is very good in 57 matches. He'll take an average of 30, 38. So a slow ball produces the uh, well play by Ricky Ponting and a good running again by Gilchrist. Ricky Ponting closing in on those 2,000 runs in one day internationals. An early siesta. <laughs> He's had enough of playing, and the band stopped playing. And it's in the air. Catch it mid wicket was high in the air. The umpire scoring for the ball. Just the one hand, he realized that he couldn't get two. And as Am Khan realized he couldn't get both hands of the ball, so he just thrust out the right hand. Well, it was outstanding. He was never going to get there, really. And he, he just made this final athletic lunge with his right hand. And as David said, it was brilliant. Outstanding. Call it what you want. But you see a piece of special field in there, 78 for two. Saturday on Fox Sports 2, right after the International News Hour, we preview this weekend's Premier League football action. At 6.30, highlights from last week's Bundesliga matches, then live NBL action, Canberra versus Sydney. Australia continues its history-making tour of Pakistan with live ball-by-ball -ball coverage of the second One Day International. Exclusively 